100 degree day in Dallas. It's pretty hot. <laughs> La Cheminique Franklin is spot on. It gets like, it's like 10 times hotter when there's no shade or no water. Where we met her at William Blair Jr. Park is an escape from the concrete city. In the middle of the city where there is no shade, it's very hot. A recent study done by the city of Dallas and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration shows some areas of Dallas are 10 degrees hotter than others. Dallas is an urban heat island. It's been known for a long time that it's one of the worst urban heat islands in the country. Data shows neighborhoods like the Medical District, Oak Lawn or Oak Cliff have higher temperatures. There are significant dangers. People will die from this and are dying. It's a public health concern, according to Dr. Rose Jones, a medical anthropologist. Historically, on, on poor, marginalized black and brown communities tend to have less nature infrastructure, if you will. Unlike green areas with trees and water, she says heat traps in asphalt and cement. Car emissions and AC pollution can make it worse. Heat action plans need to be systemic, holistic, grounded in public health and equity. Dr. Jones believes every city needs a climate action plan that prioritizes heat. She says Dallas doesn't do that. Dallas's Office of Environmental Quality and Sustainability has an eight sector climate plan. Though heat is not specified, it is tied into their environmental initiatives, including the heat island study and planting more trees. We need to get past the mindset of it gets really hot here to understanding your health is at risk. Dr. Jones says planting greenery is the obvious long term solution, but there are other ways like painting roads and roofs or installing cooling pavements too. These are urgent problems that need to be addressed immediately. Until then, depending where you go, you may feel the heat more in Dallas. I'm Tiffany Liu.